I'll just be honest and say it was the Mighty Ducks that got me started. <laughs> I started off at a local leisure centre doing roller discos. Um, and then I saw advertisement for needed players. I started from a PE teacher in school. We had a Canadian PE teacher, and um, he slowly started to bring it in in tennis courts and on playgrounds. Um, I was only young, I was only five myself. Um, went down, had a look. My parents didn't approve of it, but my sisters took me. So, best thing they ever did for me, that was. I went ice skating from a young age and decided to try the stick. When I was uh, about 12 or 13, it's just got more and more from there. I started, I bought the £20 plastic skates and the £10 plastic stick um, and just went down the park with my friends, really. We had a game against the team in rugby in a sports hall and it's just built and built and then I met Mick when I was about 13 and from there the levels just got higher and more, more tournaments, more leagues. Uh, the main draw of inline hockey for me is the speed, the skill and the physical aspect of it. I don't think many sports come close to it um, and a lot of people don't really appreciate how intense it is and um, how much skill is involved. And using your legs and your arms in hockey, it definitely, it was nice to do something that not everyone could do. I think everyone could kick a kick around a football. If it's, even if they're not that good, they can still do it. Not everyone can skate and hit a puck. When you need the strength, you've got, you got to dig deep, you've got to eat correct, you've got to train. There's a lot of hard work. Uh, I make sure that I work hard at the gym, always don't miss any training sessions, have all the right gear with me, eat the right food. <laughs> um, we have lots of team talks, lots of s tactics and strategies and just make sure our head's in the right place really. Basically, you pick yourself up from the game. If you lose, you keep your head up, you keep going and you take the negatives out of the game that you just played and put them into the positive into the next game and get behind the rest of the team. It's just not an individual sport. You get behind the rest of the team, get their heads up and you'll always get one player in the team that will do that. Um, I think inline hockey needs um, more money, more funding. People, it needs a bit more recognition because not everyone knows how much of a great sport it is. If it had a bit more on television or in newspapers, people would realise that it is a great sport and really great to watch. For the sport in the UK to move forward, it needs a lot more backing from the Sports Council, a lot more kind of recognition. Um, we're really short on really decent rinks, there's just not enough good facilities. So the sport isn't going to get off the ground without these facilities and, and the full backing of the, of the Sports Council and what have you. Uh, money needs to be invested.